What's up all you beautiful people, it's your boy Cleavy, I'm here to give you another review on a movie that I just checked out. So you know I'm watching Godless on Netflix, I might get into a review about that later. The way that my mind works is, I, Godless is a western, and the thing that my mind likes about westerns is the connection between western and eastern, and then so my mind goes to samurais, and I start looking at samurai flicks, and what do I get? Boom! Blade of the Immortal. So when I started watching Blade of the Immortal, I had no idea what it was about. I did check out the trailer, and I thought that the trailer was looked fun and exciting. But I will do my best really quickly to kind of break down uh, some of the things that I liked and some of the things that I didn't like about the film. So Blade of the Immortal is directed by... Takashi Miike, which you might know from his other work like Audition or 13 Assassins. So when I did see that, I was pretty excited because I do enjoy uh, Miike's work. However, I did not know anything about the source material on this. It happened to be based on a manga, um, and there is an anime series that you can check out as well if you can find it. I think there's maybe episodes on YouTube that you can check out. I went in totally blind and I didn't know anything about any of this. Essentially the story is there's a wandering swordsman named Manji. His sister goes crazy and he's kind of like on the run with her. This is all in the first like three minutes of the movie so I'm not spoiling anything. His sister's murdered by this band of bounty hunters that are trying to capture him. Uh, he is then met by this old nun witch lady out in the forest who uh, puts these little blood worms in his body that help his body heal. So it, it's very comic booky. So he's immortal and he's got blades, so the blades are immortal, I guess, as well. About 50 years later, there's a girl named Rin who watches her family get struck down by this wandering gang uh, who's trying to get as much territory as they can. The movie becomes the little girl seeking out uh, this mythical, unkillable swordsman to help her get revenge on the guys that killed her parents. Very lone wolf and cub, uh, true grit, Logan, a little girl who finds like the old beat up warrior and they go get revenge. And So the good things about this movie come in the form of, of course the action, the action scenes are pretty amazing. Uh, there is a lot of uh, gore and guts if you like that kind of thing, which I'm always into with a good samurai flick. Uh, the main actor, I'm gonna ruin his name, Takoya Kimura, uh, he's actually very, very good. I really enjoyed his performance. Uh, the girl, uh, which I won't say her name because I'll just, I'll, I'll shit on it really bad. She's actually a very strong character too, but she does get to the point to where she's yelling a lot of things, um, and it just seems like she's yelling for the sake of yelling. Uh, but for the most part, she's pretty good. There's a lot of characters that look straight. You could tell that were straight out of a comic or straight out of uh, an anime series. Like there's a samurai that has like decapitated shoulders that he wears on his head to intimidate people, and it's it's pretty badass. There's some pretty cool uh, characters. There's pretty cool fight fight scenes in it, so I enjoyed that a lot. The things that I wasn't too keen on is that uh, this movie is about two hours and 20 minutes. So if you, and I think that it could have probably trimmed down about an, uh, about 15 or so, put it right in the two hour, uh, two hour lane and they could have just tightened it up a little bit. Also, if you think you might be interested in watching this movie, then I think you should know that it is all in Japanese. So you will have to read subtitles and why the world is afraid of that. I don't know. The other thing that I really enjoyed about this movie is the kind of take that it, that it gives us about revenge and, and how people deal with revenge. In a lot of movies like John Wick or like Django, you go, you kill everybody that's, that's done you wrong, you have your revenge, and then things kind of go happily ever after. However, in this one, uh, revenge is looked at a little bit different. Going more into depth on what really happens when you get that revenge? Is that ever going to be enough for you? It comes to a point where uh, the girl, the little girl who's looking for revenge doesn't even know if she wants revenge against the same people that killed her parents or if she's just mad at the world and wants everybody to die. So this movie is shot beautifully. I really enjoy a lot of the a lot of the colors, a lot of the setup, a lot of the scenery that they put in. All in all, if you like a good samurai flick and you like gritty, bloody 
action, then this movie will probably be for you and you'll probably enjoy it. But I want to know what you guys think. Have you checked out Blade of the Immortal? Do you want to check it out now? You can tell me in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and click that little bell so you know when I put out a new video every time. And if you hadn't had enough of me here, you can also find me anywhere else on the internet like Facebook, like Instagram, or on the Stardust app and get your 30-second juicy nuggets of review goodness from from myself or other people that you follow. You can find me there and anywhere at Cleve the Black Guy. That's C-L-E-V-E-T-H-E-B-L-A-C. No K, guy. Thank you so much for watching. It's been my pleasure to review Blade of the Immortal with you. I've been Cleavy. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Peace out, world.